Broadcasting live from the Business Radio X studios in Woodstock, Georgia, it's time for Cherokee Business Radio. Now, here's your host. Welcome to Cherokee Business Radio. Stone Payton here with you this morning, broadcasting live from the innovation spot right here in the heart of Woodstock. And today's episode is brought to you in part by Alma Coffee sustainably grown, veteran-owned, and direct trade, which of course means from seed to cup, there are no middlemen. Please go check them out at myalmacoffee.com and go visit their roastery cafe at 3448 Holly Springs Parkway, right up the street here in Canton. Ask for Leticia or Harry and tell them Stone sent you. You're in for a real treat this morning. Please join me in welcoming to the broadcast with the Innovation Spot, Mr. Tom Devaney. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Stone. How are you? I am doing well and so thrilled to have you on the show. I love this place. Over the weekend, I had my my youngest, Kelly, in from Chattanooga to give it the Kelly eye. She was so impressed with the entire facility. She's helping us get our studio here together. It's been marvelous for me. I'm delighted that you did it, it being set this thing up for, for the business community and business people like me. But I got to ask why? <laughs> what, what, what are you trying to accomplish? What are you out here trying to do for folks? Well, um, thanks for the compliments to start with. Uh, we were in development for almost a year, Lori and I, uh, my wife, kicking this idea around. Uh, we noticed a trend in office uh, solutions that um, was rapidly growing, not only in the United States. Uh, I go to South America every year on a consulting trip with KSU and bring students down. And uh, shared office spaces is, is the way it's done. Um, and a lot of smaller businesses, entrepreneurs, startups, they uh, are isolated and they don't, mm. you know, they, they might be working out of their house or out of an incubator, which they quickly grow out of and they don't have a next step. Um, me, myself, as a practicing CPA, uh, s- smaller than when I had a big firm working out of my house, it's not convenient to uh, bring in clients to the house, uh, <laughs> having, having dogs bark when, when you're on the phone, you know, <laughs> the UPS man coming. Uh, so the, the tagline, more than an office, is uh, we are we're really um, dedicated to developing a community of like-minded professionals uh, that want to work together, want to socialize together, want to have fun. Uh, but give them a really productive workspace uh, with everything taken into consideration. Walk in, sit down, and get the job done. You don't have to worry about IT or the internet or the light bill mm. or the insurance or the coffee. You know, unless I get in late and, <laughs> and, you, and you guys get to the coffee yourself. But you, you, you guys don't know this, but for our listeners, Gary, our other guest here this morning, and Tom. Well, I, I wish I would have had the video camera out because that was entertaining watching them get a pot of coffee together. Because Mandy wasn't in right. and, and Lori wasn't in. Right. Yeah, the um, the threat of icy roads kept my daughter and my wife home. (laughs) (laughs) That's all right. So uh, quite a varied background. You've got your your irons in a a lot of fires. Uh, How did you land here and be willing? Because you're you're a professor at 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 the university. Uh, up the street you are you said practicing cpa my guess is you're pretty good at it by now <laughs> yeah <laughs> practice uh, makes perfect I, well i it just seems like that it must have taken some real leap of faith or are you just an on uh, is entrepreneurism in your bones yeah both both Lori and i are are pretty much serial entrepreneurs i've i've owned quite a number of businesses in my life um I drive Lori crazy. She says I created a full-time job for her just keeping books on a bunch of companies, and she hates keeping books. <laughs> I'm the CPA, but, uh, but she's organized more so than, than I am. Um, yeah, I like business, Stone. Uh, I teach, yeah. I teach uh, accountant and finance in the executive MBA program, but I lead a lot of general business units. Uh, uh, one of them is is a business plan unit where they actually uh, pitch to angel investors. And I, the that the I kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got called kids. Yeah. I mean, they're all kids yeah. to me now, but yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, well, they're executive MBAs. Our, right, right, right. our average age is about 37. <laughs> okay. and, and they got, you know, but four, they're pitching years. business. They, they are pitching, yeah. And, oh, wow. and, and at least one or two launch almost every year. Uh, nice. It's an awesome program. Uh, I really enjoy. I enjoy everything I do. So, yeah, the innovation spot, um, we have a couple of companies. We do some residential real estate flipping. We own some commercial real estate. Uh, we've owned campgrounds. We've owned CPA firms. We've owned baseball teams. Good. Well, this guy is who our, all yeah. of our guests in our, in our community wants to be. I want to go back to this idea of... Um, and he makes good coffee. And he makes great coffee. That's so, Alma Coffee, by the way. It, <laughs> it is it's, Alma it's, Coffee. Uh, Thank you, Leticia. Uh, now, Harry and I are buddies, but let's be honest. Leticia is the brains of that outfit, right? <laughs> uh, uh, so the uh, going back to the sense of community, the camaraderie, and, and all of us supporting and celebrating each other and trying to help each other out that that is true here that there's technical infrastructure here for that and that's fun that you know you can get your profile up on the thing and you can see who else is a part of this thing but there's also just Lori. i gotta tell you, she just she makes a point of getting people connected oh you need to meet stone and you need to do this and um we'll talk about it in a minute i know you got a nice spread coming up in one of the one of the more popular uh, print venues uh, here in town. And I mean, the first thing that Lori did was like get people together and say, okay, Stone, you know, we want you to participate in this. And she's, uh, she's such a connector, right? That's, I mean, that's in her DNA and that's just the way you guys roll. Yeah. Um, we, we like people. <laughs> so, yeah. We like to bring people together. So, you know, it's life short and relationships is what it's all about. So what's the structure here? Uh, and I know a little bit of this, but for the benefit of the, the listeners, it's only guys, uh, I'm in, I'm in one of the nice uh, private offices is what it would normally be. We kind of turn things upside down for him to let me have one where, you know, consistently two or three people are sitting in here, <laughs> but again, they're trying to, you know, support and celebrate what I'm doing and, and, and help me too. Uh, but yeah, you know, can you lay out for our listeners kind of the, you know, some of the high spots you got offices, you got hot dead. Yes. Yeah, tell them about that. Sure. We, we have the, the whole mix, uh, in the tagline more than office. It, it's not just a tagline. That's the theme behind it, but we are a membership based, um, office solution as opposed to a lease base. And what that means is there's really very little commitment. You can come in uh, for a day and get a desk. You can come in for a day and get an office. Um, you can rent a, a large conference room for an hour a day, uh, we have uh, small small conference rooms as well. We got general collaboration spaces, private offices, so you can have memberships where you just have a hot desk and take one that's open. Uh, you can have your own dedicated desk that no one else will use. Lock and pod. You can leave things here. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get twenty four seven mm -hmm. access on some some memberships. We have a, a lot of security built in uh, for the protection of, of all the members. And we, as you know, we cameras and all the hallways at every door uh, and uh, yeah. the Dickiesy's door uh, door access system, all web-based. Uh, you're a member and, and you're in good standing. Uh, your, <laughs> your phone will unlock the doors and get you in, but we'll know who's in and, and, yeah. you know, to, to protect everybody and, and their belongings. Um, and that, that's monitored, you know, pretty well. Um, we want to do at least one social event a month. We've got a couple coming up. Uh, oh, good. Mentioned, yeah, we have a, uh, we are doing a, a VIP event this Thursday, four o'clock, I believe, four to uh, four o'clock. Uh, that should be a pretty good turnout. And then uh, in March, we're doing an in Woodstock mingle. That's going to be a lot of fun. We're doing a a taco based um, cure is going to cater for us. We have a nice. A, we're going to have a magician, not musician, musician here. Uh, <laughs> we might have a magician, magician too. <laughs> so, you, you know, know any tricks, yeah. Gary? I do. I do. <laughs> I know somebody makes good coffee. Um, so uh, that that's going to, we're expecting a great turnout for that. Okay. Uh, see, for me, the lead is we have a ping pong table. Uh, right. Because years and years ago, uh, <laughs> I got a marketing degree, so I didn't have to go to class much. Uh, <laughs> and I shot a little pool. And I, and I played ping pong I, and I suspect at some point Tom's probably going to have to reorganize that space and rent, <laughs> and rent it out. But I love that we have a ping pong table, but it is still, it's, it's, it goes back to, 
you know, I, I can walk across the hall, you know, and, and, and I can ask uh, Kathy or Bill or Bob or whatever. Hey, let's go hit the ball. You know, it's just a oh, and we haven't talked about this. But what we do need to do as the as the weather gets warmer and I'll fund it, Gary and I'll fund it. We'll sp- we'll sponsor this. We need a smoker and a grill out there on the patio. Oh, yeah. Well, well, out on the side here, not not in the parking lot. That is in the plans. We are, really. Yeah, we are going to have a, a covered uh Pergola or sweet, um, nice. Uh, Gary will pay yeah. for it. Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, good, good. <laughs> I'll gladly <laughs> so, pay you on Tuesday. <laughs> so, um, so and 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 just for all the listeners out there, I like table tennis. I played a lot when I was a youngster in high school. My neighbor had one in his basement. I thought I was okay. Uh, Stone's in the office about two days and says to me, oh, so are you the table tennis protege? And I says, no, but I like to play. He says, I brought my paddles. <laughs> I, 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 I knew I was in trouble. And yes, uh, if you happen to stop by and, and want to visit the innovation spot, uh, unless you're up on your game, I would pass playing people. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> unless you don't mind being humiliated <laughs> he didn't see me coming he just thought here's this redneck he's always wearing a hat That's even classic. though he's here for business he's dressed in camo and, and he plays what he plays table tennis so did you do a cameo in forrest gump was that you? <laughs> that was me right uh, that that was me uh so let's do talk about the events let's make sure we get those dates um out there and folks and folks know about them for this upcoming thing yeah, so uh, this Thursday, um, you know, there's a lot of organizations in Cherokee County, the Chamber of Commerce, the right, Inwood Stocks, right. and, and everyone wants to help you promote and, and do ribbon cuttings. We did a ribbon cutting about a month ago with Cherokee County Chamber of Commerce. Uh, we had a couple of things. We had to delay it the first time. Our, we weren't 100% done. Our sign wasn't up. Our contractor was promising he'd be finished, but he was he was still in two days before. And we said, well, let's slide a month. We slid a month. COVID hit. Mm. Yeah, no, well, co- COVID has been around, but uh, there was an exposure. So we, we had to postpone that one. And then it was rescheduled three times and it rained like crazy the day we had it. And we still had a great turnout. But uh, in Woodstock, we're going to do a, a, a um, calling a VIP reception instead of uh, a ribbon cutting. And from what I understand, a, a good bit of the um, – powers to be in Woodstock shall be here, you know, maybe, maybe cool. even the mayor, um, you know, uh, cool. so, uh, some of the economic development people, which we've been working closely with, which are awesome team in Woodstock. I mean, Woodstock is such a great place to do business. Uh, if you, if you're doing business here and you have not stopped in and, and met Brian and Misty and the whole team down there in the Cherokee and Woodstock Economic Development Authority in, um, Chat Tech, uh, you're, you're missing out because they will, they will bend over backwards to help you get established and up and running. So they're they're hosting that event for us this Thursday. Well, that has certainly yeah. been my experience. What you're saying about the um, about just the I don't know the the, the mindset, the vibe in this town. Mm-hmm. Everybody seems to genuinely want to help me get this studio off the ground. Mm-hmm. Everybody. Yep. It's fantastic. I'm sorry I interrupted you guys because you were going to talk about another event. Yeah, so, and then uh, March 11th, I believe it is. Is that correct, Gary? Do you know? I am looking it up. Uh, I believe so. I believe it's March 11th. It's going to be uh, 6 p.m., 6 to 8 p.m. We're going to do the first mingle event in over a year in Woodstock because they, they closed down uh, uh, yeah. they, because of COVID. Uh, that's going to be a catered event, as I said. And, and we'll do it here. We're going to do it here. Sweet. Yeah, we're going to have we're going to have a um, uh, Lori just connected this morning, and we just watched some of his videos. Who's going to be uh, playing the music? Uh, Pure is going to cater. We're going to have uh, uh, tacos and. I don't. know. She's got the whole menu figured out, and and the entertainment. Um, uh, Very desk is gonna is gonna participate a little bit in that as well uh they outfitted all our office with all of these cool sit stand electric desk and the uh the nice task chairs and and what have you they're going to be a part of it um and um we're just going to have fun so my youngest kelly came over the weekend we had family in town but i also wanted her to kind of design eye on the place and one of the things she did is had me take the carpet off of that desk because it's such a beautiful top. And she's a graphic designer. So 
I showed her out here how the thing goes up and down, and now I'm on the hook for buying something like it. I I don't know if I can afford these things. Are awesome, by the way, guys. Uh, uh-huh. uh, so, but Kelly's going to get some version of this. Maybe you can hook me up with the very people or something. Yeah. But uh, she was very very impressed <laughs> with that. And it is the the facility here. I mean, it's t- everything's top notch. It's uh, it, it's it's beautiful. And the CEO, the Grand Poobah, you might catch him changing the water filter out of, on the water feature or you might catch him empty in the trash i mean he's a true he's a true entrepreneur but uh, all kidding aside what do you find the most rewarding so far about this community and this this thing of ours that that you're building here what are you enjoying the most about it so far and you know as as, as i mentioned earlier one i we just like business. So from conception to launch, I mean, it's always exciting to launch something new. Right? Yeah. Uh, and the thought that goes in and, and the design, Lori has, Lori has a great eye. Lori's dad was a, a GC. She grew up, you know, and she's, she's, Lori is better with my tools and a lot than a lot of men I know. <laughs> so, uh, some, sometimes it drives me crazy when I come home and she's been in my toolbox and she's doing something she didn't ask, but she, she, she's, she's very competent. It's just, that's just the male ego. Like, you know, what are you doing? You know, let me do that type deal. But she, she's got a great design eye and I, and I'm, I'm pretty good in, in the execution of, of all of that. So we work together really well as a team. So getting it to this point, I mean, now now the exciting part is is trying to uh, get it known out in the community. We got to get the word out, we right, and let the, people yeah, know. And, 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 and you can and come out and visit, and you'll welcome around. Oh yeah, 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 anytime. Just stop in. The desk is is manned uh, every day, uh, pretty much nine to five. Um, someone is is there, right? And uh, come in, stop in, have a tour, have have a cup of alma coffee, and um, take a look. Um, some of the some of the features, you know, there's too many features to sit here and list what we took into consideration. But in the current environment with the safety, you know, some of some of the key things are our precautions around uh, coronavirus or, huh. or any virus okay. or flu or anything for that matter. Right. Um, there are four independent scrubbers up up in the in the above the the walls here that are constantly uh, HEPA filters cleaning the air. Hmm. But there's also UV lights in the uh, ductwork of the HVAC system. And if you don't know, but UV lights kill bacteria and viruses. And it's in the ductwork? It's in the ductwork because you, wow. you don't want to be exposed to UV light directly for long periods of time. Right. But, you know, we moved here from Coopstown, New York. We were on a well and we were in, we were in farm country. So, you know, the cows go to the bathroom and it gets in your water and the way you clean it is you run through a UV light, right? I'll so UV light kills a lot of stuff. So those lights are in the ductwork, so you are never exposed, but the air passes through it, and that'll that'll kill viruses and bacteria. Um, because the hand sanitation stations everywhere, and the, the temperature checks, and you know we ask we don't we ask that everybody just be respectful of other people. You know, right. if you're if you're worried and and you want to wear a mask, you're in your office, you know you don't you know, we don't all wear masks all the time, and a lot of times we don't, but. You know, you're respectful of everybody and sure. precautions. You don't want anybody uncomfortable and right. you want to be respectful yeah. and just and yeah. common sense. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. So uh, before we wrap, let's make sure that our listeners have the right coordinates. What is the best way for them to reach out, arrange a tour, learn more, whatever you feel like is appropriate, whether it's an email address, a website, that that kind of stuff? Wow, yeah. So that's embarrassing. Don't even know the phone number. Uh, <laughs> you don't ever call, right? <laughs> I don't ever call. We we, we pitched to uh, we pitched to um, a million cups in downtown Woodstock. We, I did. I thought I had a great presentation. It was really <laughs> funny. And one of the questions at the end was, "What's your address? You didn't have it in your presentation." So I know my address. The, the address is <laughs> the address is two thirty three Arnold Mill Road. We're seven tenths of a mile from the main intersection in Woodstock. Um, short little even walk uh, so just come up and right past the the fire department uh, on the left hand side we're, we're right alongside of fastenal and fastenal's been here 10 12 years and maybe a lot of people know where fastenal is uh, the website is the uh, it has well, that's uh, easy. It, it has great great mm. pictures it has memberships it has pricing it, it's it's pretty transparent we have it all out there um, and of course mm. the phone number is 770-262-3668. And that should be answered by 
Anybody e- but either, Tom. <laughs> either Lori, either Lori or Amanda. Uh, Amanda. I can't get used to calling Amanda Mandy, which she decided to uh, change her name to a few years back. Uh, but she, see, I uh, got that memo. After yeah. you introduced me to Amanda, then I got the memo when she came in here that, that she liked Mandy. Right, yeah. So she's... Uh, She's she's our our daughter who is uh, graduating KSU here in the next couple months with a degree in communications and political science. So she's uh, she's does a great job at the front desk. Well, thank you so much for for joining us today, getting us caught up on the events and giving us an overview of the innovation spot. But as important, if not more, so, thank you for what you're doing for the local business community. I mean, you guys are just marvelous. Business Radio X is thrilled to be here. I'm so excited about getting the studio off the ground. You guys have been such great support. And, you know, Gary, you're a good wingman sliding him that phone number. So I think I'll keep you in on some of this, too. <laughs> this is my home away from home. There you go. Gary, can I have one more second? Absolutely. I, 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 I do need to throw a, a big, a big uh, applause or whatever to Gary. Gary was involved when this was still uh, a thought in the back of the mind. In fact, in <laughs> fact, we were even not in this building. We were in another building, our first floor plan. Oh, we, wow. worked, we worked through lots of, lots of different floor plans, lots of different buildings, and Gary designed space, and he, he graciously gave us a ton of time, a lot of work, and helped us to get to where we got to. And he's, he's just a great guy. And uh, he, he showed up after we opened and showed it to Dora and showed me. Like, I'm like, Gary, you know. Uh, <laughs> so he's uh, he's helped us get to where we are and some of what you see visually and, and layout designs and stuff. We had a lot of people helping us. We had uh, we had uh, another co-worker owner, you know, Ramon Gonzalez, who owns Thrive, who's a great guy as well, who's given us just, just tons of information. But but Gary was critical in the, in the development stage as well. Gary's a rock star. Yep. We're, we're glad to have him. Well, thanks again, Tom, so much. Hey, listen, how about hanging out with us while we visit with our next guest? Sure. All right. Well, did you learn anything in that last segment, did, Gary? What'd you pick up, buddy? Uh, now I know if I need coffee and Amanda's not here, I can go to Tom <laughs> if he's not busy doing other things. But uh, I've I've kind of become, you know, an adopted person into the family, I feel. I mean, this is really a, a home away from home, and I've worked here at least three or four times. I'm at the cusp of, of running an office myself, but, you know, it's clean air. It's beautiful. And, you know, I'm all over Cherokee County and I can't help when I go to places and people are having coffee somewhere and you can't hear yourself speak. I'm like, go to the innovation spot. Um, It is so easy. You know, you just go online, you book it, uh, charge your credit card. It's seamless. It's easy. Um, It's just a great place. So I encourage everybody to come out and take a look. So you've got a lot going on. What what kinds of things are you investing your time and energy in and I got to ask, I think I, I have some instincts for, for why, but why Cherokee? Why Woodstock? What's the, what's the attraction for you? Um, you know, being four years new in June to Atlanta, moving from Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, I arrived here in Atlanta Metro with really no contacts and in sales, it's all about your contacts. So, you know, I got 5,000 people down in Miami, but that doesn't help me in Woodstock. Um, we currently <laughs> live in Marietta, but I for whatever reason, I just absolutely love Woodstock. I always have. But I remember Woodstock uh, way back in the day. And when I moved here, going down Main Street, I'm like, am I in Woodstock? You know, I, all these new businesses, all these mm-hmm. cool incubators. And then as I travel, you know, I'm on the road all the time. I There's an industrial park off of, um, I think it's 1000 Woodstock uh, Drive. I, I apologize. I'll get the address out there. But you know, did you guys know there's a manufacturer out there that 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 manufactures sunroofs for all the major automobile manufacturers right here in Woodstock? I didn't know that. See, Tom knew. He's 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 not even no. I didn't have any you know, idea. If now I, I know where a lot of the bars are, and I don't even <laughs> live here. I, I have a little patio home on, under contract. We move in like late March, uh, and so I don't even live here yet. But I know where most of the bars are. And <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, you know, there was one day. Um, well, anyways, so there's a lot of interesting companies here, a lot of good places to to spend your money. Small business is the background of America, in my humble opinion. And uh, we love our national chains when appropriate, you know. Uh, but if you're going to go out and eat, wouldn't you rather eat, you know, at a restaurant 
that uh, has passion and wants to serve quality food at an affordable rate. And while you're sitting there, you may meet a council person from the city of Woodstock or whatever. Yeah. I mean, you know, givers get community is everything. And, um, you know, yeah. I, if, uh, if I memory serves me correctly, Cherokee County is one of the fastest growing counties, uh, a small business wise, uh, in Atlanta Metro. You know, it's easy Is to it get, really? uh, yeah, if you, you know, inside the perimeter, of course, you got all these major corporations, but, uh, you know, when I go to the city in the perimeter, it's beautiful and I might have lunch, but I know I need to get out of there no later than one thirty, or I'm going to be spending the night. So I'd rather <laughs> just hang out up here. Um, and there's still, it's a ton of great business people up here. The community's great. Uh, there's a lot of really good, uh, nonprofit organizations. I know you've did a, several interviews with people, uh, here in the Woodstock area that, uh, you know, some people rely on, on Facebook or Twitter for information, but you know, I, it, almost every day I'm finding something cool and different about Cherokee County in general. Well, I got to tell you the way that I'm meeting a lot of these people with these community organizations and, and these causes is through business people. Yeah. I mean, I'm out there and I'm inviting people to come on Cherokee business radio to, to uh, share their story and promote their work, which you know, they're often interested in doing. We make a point of doing that, but almost to a person, th- th- they have at least one cause that they're really fired up about. So that's how I'm meeting you know, different people at these, at, at these different causes. So it's, uh, it's so fun to just, to see the way people operate around here. I love it. Yeah, a lot of first name basis. Uh, uh, Tom hit on it. I w- spent some time when I first moved here um, over where the Economic Development Board is, and Misty. I met with her and Jonathan, and just tremendous people. Um, you know, I can't help but think in Cherokee when you're asking for help from the local Economic Development Board that you're going to get a phone call or be able to speak to somebody live face to face much quicker than maybe, you know, the city of Atlanta mm-hmm. just due to the population. I know there's reasons behind it, but do you like drop names? Or are you just like, Hey, I know Tom Devaney. So, well, I'd really I, like, I'd know, really like a, a, an audience. I'd like a meeting. <laughs> yeah, I will not be satisfied until we have a waiting list at the innovation spot because uh, everybody needs to use this place. I mean, it's a no brainer. I mean, I have a home office and uh, I work here. So there you go. <laughs> and you can focus on business and you're around other executives or small business owners that get it. And I've met a ton of people here. Just working. I met you at the ribbon cutting that he spoke of. Exactly. You know, right? that's a, I mean, it's all inner at the ribbon cutting. Uh, you know, if you, uh, we were all there, it was a little cold, but we had a really good turnout. I met Tom and Lori's son. He was standing right next to me. And I said, is that your mom and dad? He's like, yeah, it's good people. Good people. Uh, so it just had a blast. You know, we took yeah. nice pictures and you and I just met and I really didn't understand what business radio X was, but you know, as I got to know you and I'm like, wow. And this is all right at the innovation spot. I mean, one stop shop. Right. Can't beat it. I am part of a business networking group. We actually meet here every Tuesday at seven thirty, both virtually or in person. As long as it's above thirty degrees. They, yeah, today you know was what? canceled, <laughs> but I was here making coffee with Tom. <laughs> okay, I can't stand it. The, one of the reasons you're here today sure. is we've got some news. I won't steal your thunder. Tell them what's happening. I am pleased to announce that uh, I've made the uh, investment of my time. Uh, I'm going to have my own show, thanks to Stone, um, and it's going to be called Good Morning Cherokee every Friday at 11. Um, so I encourage you to tune in, and uh, we're going to have a really, really nice list of business owners and uh, local um, community organizations on the show. Uh, it's not only about business, it's about helping. Giving and helping comes first. Um, there's a number of nonprofits in Cherokee County that don't have the budget for marketing or outreach, mm-hmm. so that's where we come in. Um, the reality is a lot of us that volunteer our time have day jobs, and those day jobs could be anywhere. Um, so really looking forward to it. I'm real excited about it. I've always had kind of a radio passion my whole life. My wife, uh, Susan, is thrilled that I'm doing this, um, and I've Mark that in my calendar every Friday. We will be doing some remote sessions as well. So as events are occurring out in the community, I'll be out, you know, interviewing people on the red carpet, so to speak. But uh, I think we need to take it a step further. I'll get with the chamber. But when we have a ribbon cutting, Business Radio X will be out there interviewing people there. I think it would be really strong. So if we can get to a point where we don't really have to leave our backyard, sign me up. So I'm really excited. It's a uh, good morning, Cherokee. Looking forward to it. Well, I really like the framing. I like the vibe that you're trying to create with that. And we certainly, um, in what we call our, our house show, Cherokee Business Radio, here out of the Cherokee studio, 
we want to invite causes, organizations like that in, but uh, it, we can't have as many come in as as quickly and as consistently on that show as yeah. we can on, on what you're creating. So I think it's marvelous. So the guest profile you want you you do though want business people on on that show. So the the guest profile is businesses and causes. Is that kind of what you're? Yes, yeah, small business and um, you know five hundred one three C nonprofit organizations. Mm-hmm. Um, also, we're looking to have the folks from Cherokee County Schools here. Oh, cool! Uh, I mean, we are still going through COVID. A lot of us still have children in school. I know I have three. It's been a very difficult period of time as they go back to school. I think knowledge is power, and mom and dad are on commuting to work. They can tune into our podcast uh, and listen in if they don't have time live. They can listen to it later but i think it's important we get folks like that on 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 the um on the show yeah and we will be broadcasting live on fridays at 11 but Mm -hmm. as you say so many of our listeners well first of all all of our listeners are intentional and engaged no one accidentally listens to a business radio action but so many of them it's on demand they're hitting a bucket of balls or they're hanging out at the house or they're they're doing that that kind of thing so we will be broadcasting live uh, the smart people back at the Business Radio X shop, those elves are right now putting together the infrastructure, the booking calendar and the, yeah. uh, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So we'll get those coordinates out. But right now, if someone trips over this little segment and just really wants to, you know, see about getting on the show, it, can they get to you with a with an with an email or get to your LinkedIn or something? Because I hate to I don't want to make them wait to, in what I think we're going to officially launch in March, but uh, but we may we may have an episode as as early as not day after tomorrow, but like the following Friday, right? Yeah, I think the following Friday. There's a couple okay. of guests I don't want to uh, really announce that there are. I'd rather it be a surprise. But there you, um, go. you can reach me at Gary G A R Y at businessradiox dot com. Email tends to be the best way because they already all, hooked you up with a business radio X. I mean, we don't waste any look, time. Man, I mean, look you know, at us go cards. Uh, everything's been ordered. <laughs> uh, we're ready to roll. I mean, it's not uh, that complicated, but um, yeah. So just email me and uh, there's going to be, a, you know, on the uh, website, you'll be able to book um, some time to come on the show. And there's a small vetting process, of course, that we go through and then we'll give you your time slot and give you some nice almond coffee. Yeah, and if you can make coffee, you're in. That's exactly. is that part of your vetting process? Exactly. <laughs> well, Gary, Tom, thank you both for investing the time and energy to visit with us. Thank you for what you're doing for our business community. These conversations are to continue. This has been an absolute delight having you both on the show. Thank you. All right, thank until you. you are more than welcome. All right, until next time. This is Stone Payton for Tom Devaney and Gary Aceto and everyone here at the Business Radio X family saying we'll see you next time on Cherokee Business Radio. Yeah.